Hi, I'm Aditya Dhakur and I published my first Flutter package and in this video, I'll show you how can you make your Flutter package complete with the code walkthrough, the changes that you are required to make and lastly, how to publish it to pub.dev so others can use it in their own Flutter applications. Now, I am not an expert, but I do love sharing whatever I learn and figure out. So if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe the channel and you can also join in on our developer community using the link in description. So let's get started with the video. Before we dive into how I made the package, I want to tell you the why, why I made the package. So I had recently worked on this app called SRM one and we were using these beautiful containers to share link to GitHub and medium. Now, since we were reusing this widget, I had extracted it and put it into a separate file. So I would only have to pass the link and the title to it. So while working on another project, I thought, Hey, why not use those widgets that I had made, right? One way of doing that could be, I could just import the file that I have made and I would get those uh, widgets in the new app. But I thought, why not make it into a package so that I can not only use it in these two flutter applications, but also in the future applications as well as others can use it in theirs too. And that was the idea behind the package. So let's get started with how to make a flutter package. The first step is to create a new flutter project. If you use Android studio, click on create a new flutter project and then select package from the menu. There is also an option to make a plugin. A plugin has native implementation, whereas a package is purely dart code. Since we want to only create a widget, we will create a new package. Give your project a name, a description and click on finish. You can also create a project using the terminal by typing in flutter create and setting the template flag to package and writing the name of the project. Hit enter and it should be created. The second step is the code. After creating a new package, get rid of the default code and type in export source slash fancy containers new dot dot. All my implementation would go inside this new folder called source src in this new file with the same name. I will first import the material dot dot, create a new stateful widget, define the properties, define the constructor and then use them in the build. I'll first create a container, give it a box decoration that would simply have a gradient and some box shadow in it. Next, I will create column as its child and it would have two children. One would be a text widget, which would have the title in it. And the second would be a text widget with subtitle in it. And as you can see, I have used all the properties that were defined here inside my container for width, height and the different colors for gradient. I've also set some default colors if the user chooses not to define these properties. So that is the code part. You can refer the GitHub repository to view the code in more detail. Also, I would recommend checking out other packages if you are ever confused in functionality. For example, to add callback to my container, I checked out a few repositories that use function callback and from there I got the idea how can I use something similar in my package. Once I am done with the code changes, the third step is to ready things to publish. Go over to pubspec.yaml and check the name, the description and the version code of your package. Also you'll need a homepage. You can create a new GitHub repository and paste the link to the homepage. Next, modify the changelog.md and describe what all features are available in the first version. Last, write the readme, include a code snippet with relevant images or demo. And when you are ready, inside your terminal type in dart pub publish dry run. When you will run this command, 
it will check for any warnings if it says zero warnings you are ready to publish the last step is to publish your package type in dart pub publish and run the command the first time you will run this command it will ask you to authenticate using your google account you need to copy the url from the terminal and paste it inside your browser then authenticate using google once you are done it will say authenticated and publish the package you will also get a mail and package should be live on pub.dev in a few minutes and you can go ahead and view your package under my packages on pub.dev and that is it for this video this was like a quick overview of how you can create and publish your package i hope this video helps you and if it does don't forget to subscribe the channel and also join in on our developer community we have around 300 members as of now and it's continuously growing so you can join in ask your questions queries find the resources there and thank you so much i'll see you in the next video